It's now the defense's turn to present its case after the prosecution called its final expert witness to the stand in the trial of Daniel Ortiz today. Josh Hoggard was in the courtroom. He's joining us now with more. Josh. Yeah, Lauren Ortiz is accused of torturing three young sisters, all of whom have since been diagnosed with post-traumatic stress disorder. And after five days of testimony from several witnesses, including the alleged victims themselves, the state's final day of testimony concluded today in the 78th District Court. The first expert who took the stand today, Dr. Sherry Borden, who worked with the two oldest of the alleged victims. She was the second psychologist to diagnose those girls with PTSD. Next to testify were two DNA experts with DPS, who confirmed that the presumed blood that was found on the chair that the girls were allegedly duct taped to contained the DNA of one or both of the twins, testifying that since they are identical twins, they do have the exact same DNA. And the final witness to take the stand today for the state, Denise Roberts, is the director of Patsy's House Child Advocacy Center, where she has served as a forensic interviewer for the last 12 years. She testified to the outcry statements made during a forensic interview by the youngest of the three sisters, that the girls would be duct taped in the corner of the garage, and that another alleged victim said Ortiz threatened to, quote, drown us until we die. Now, after cross-examination from the defense, the state rested its case just after five this afternoon. And now all eyes turn to the defense team for Ortiz, which was led by Marty Kennedy and assisted by Gant Grimes. They'll begin bringing their case tomorrow morning at 9, and we may see closing arguments as early as tomorrow afternoon before the ca case rather, is handed over to the jury of seven women and five men. Okay, Josh, thank you so much. We'll see what happens there.